next question is from High Street Rich Boy and he asked if you could borrow one item from each other's wardrobe what would it be and why? Well I've already done that. <laughs> Yes, Phil. Do you want to explain which uh, item of my clothing you do wear? Armani, Armani cardigan. It's kind of like a um, leopard print cardigan, which is way too small on me. But it's very rock and roll. I love it. And so I've permanently borrowed that. Yeah, and it's actually now too big for me because you've stretched it. You only wear things twice anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> Kind of is. <laughs> uh, what would I borrow from your wardrobe? T-shirts. You yeah. steal all my best t-shirts. I do. I always wear Phil's t-shirts to bed mm. and I love your scarves as well. You have some really beautiful scarves. Mm. Okay, so the next question is from Iona Livia and she asks, what do you think is the foundation to having a great relationship? You two look so happy. We are happy, aren't we? Yeah. Communication. Um, if he's, <laughs> this is a bit saucy, but if you're if you're in love, you've got to make love. <laughs> Simple. Too much information. Well, that's true. That's, that's part of it. It's a big part of it. We don't, don't, we're not going to sort of like skirt around the issue. We're married and we're adults. I guess it'd be a bit weird if we didn't. Exactly. You have to share. Weird. My mum and dad watch this video. No, no. You have to. Um, and your mum and, and, your mum and dad would have... Um, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that. <laughs> okay, stop. Uh, no. uh, the foundation is, I think, being best friends as well. We are, Phil is my absolute best friend. Yep. Oh, are we keeping you up, Phil? No. <laughs> yeah. What's so, the next one, Harry? Why are you rushing us? No, I'm not rushing. <laughs> this last time we didn't get to get through them all. It's from Cara Knapford. And she asked, if you could gift anything at all to one another, what would that one special gift be? And Phil, you're not allowed to choose an ultimate handbag. And Angela, you're not allowed to choose a guitar for Phil. Ah, oh, she knows us very well. Um, if I could, if you could gift anything at all, okay. I know what the ultimate answer is. A child. A little baby. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a pretty amazing gift. Yeah. Yeah. Mutually. A child, yeah. A little bubba. Harry's cute. And right. old, yeah. But he can't talk. <laughs> he can't talk and say, hi, Dada. Come on. Say hi, Dada. Okay. Hi, or Dada. Just... Hi, Dada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Who's the child? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think we've come to the realisation that we... We don't really need much anything else. We've got each other, we're yeah. happy, and I think for us now it's more about just experiences and family. And you'll see on my channel that I've been doing less haul videos. One, because I've been too busy to shop. And secondly, I, I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm just having a little bit of a change of direction with my channel. Not that, you know, I won't, I'm not saying I would ever do a haul video ever again, but they're not my favorite videos to do. Okay, next one is from Belle Stovall. Yeah. And uh, we, and she says, hi, you two are my favorite couple. Wow, that's a big <laughs> call. Thank you. Uh, how do you prioritize your relationship and make time for each other with your busy schedules? You have to make the most of the time that you have together, even if it's just in short bursts. Yeah. Um, Try to be present. You know, I try to turn my phone off for an hour or two. Tries to turn. I do try. Yeah. I give it a go. Do you see this? I don't know if you see this, but Bowie is actually trying to drink my Loves tea. It. And it's not good for pups, so you're not having it, Bose. It gets very tough when you're both self-employed because you're working all the time. But switch off yeah. and spend be, time together. And be in present time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this next question is from Matobes Angela. We feel in the entertainment industry and also funny and good looking. <laughs> I can imagine he gets so much attention from other women. Do you feel jealous when the other ladies throw themselves at him? And how do you manage being married to someone with fame, charm, and sex appeal? Wow, how do you feel right now? Um, normal. <laughs> uh, no, I don't feel jealous. I feel proud that he's my husband and he gets to come home with me. Correct answer. <laughs> No, you're not drinking my tea. Okay, this question is from Gemma Beeson. Out of all my bags, what is your favourite one? Which is my favourite? Yeah. Um, I think probably the... 
the Chanel um, with the what do you call it with the um, the classic. The classic. Yeah, Phil Phil loves a classic. Yeah, it's the classic. It's uh, the Chanel double flap jumbo style. Oh. <laughs> Phil always laughs when I say double flap. Why? We know why. Let's move on. <laughs> What's your favourite guitar of mine? Ah, uh, favourite guitar. Probably. The telly? Yeah, Phil, ha I don't know. You have so many great guitars. To me, they all are amazing and you do amazing things with them and... Which is your favourite? <laughs> Uh, probably the Telecaster. Okay. Yeah, probably the Telecaster. Um, Next question is from Dana Kaska. Uh, what is the favourite gift you receive from each other? Oh, Phil got a pretty cool watch for his birthday that I gave him recently. So. Amiga Seamaster. <laughs> you love it, don't I you? I love it. Yeah, it's a beautiful watch. Favourite gift that you've given me? Harry. <laughs> Harry. Phil has given me Harry. Yeah. You're a pretty favourite gift. Okay, so next question is from Palm Rupai. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think 31 is too old to change career to start up a business? I find you so inspiring and want to start my business, but sometimes I feel I'm getting too old. 31, you are not getting too old. You're a baby. The world is at your feet. 31 is a great age to start a business. In fact, any age is a great age to start a business. Just go for it. What my Far Jones Loves asks, how do you cope with being a part? Um, we work as hard as we can just to keep going uh, and we talk a lot on the phone. But also, uh, a, a little tip is you try not to... Um, you have to be disciplined with your phone conversations to not offload and you know, unload on your partner. Uh, because they can't really do much from the other side of the world. Yeah, I mean, especially when you're uh, living in two different time zones as well. So it might be the start of my day and it might be the end of Phil's day. And so Phil isn't going to tell me a massive problem. So then the no. whole day when I'm meant to be working, I'll be fretting about no. whatever he's just told me. Yeah. He'll leave it to a time that's appropriate when I can process that and deal with that piece of information. So yeah. it is about being uh, really just... I think considerate and respectful of the other person and the situation that mm. they're in and vice versa. I'm not going to put a huge problem on Phil's plate when he has to go and play to thousands of people and be yeah. Mr. Entertainment. So I think it's just about, you know, being respectful and, um, and appropriate, yeah, an appropriate communication as well, yeah. I think. Yeah, totally. My question is, as you travel so often, how do you deal with jet lag? Here's the trick with jet lag. Well, I mean, it doesn't work every time, but yeah, we try, we try, but no matter what happens, the place that you land, uh, immediately just... Um... Get into that time zone. So, for example, when we go to LA on the weekend, mm -hmm. we will arrive probably around 1 p.m. in the afternoon, which isn't too bad. Sometimes we'll arrive at 6 a.m. and that's really hard. Mm. You have to get into that time zone. So, so just, yeah. yeah. You just stay awake as long as you can. Till until 9, till 10 o'clock. Yeah, 9 or 10 o'clock and then go to bed. The problem is if you go to your hotel room, and lay down on the bed and fall asleep Have and then nap. wake up like five hours later because you're so exhausted you're completely out of whack you never catch up yeah you never catch up for days and days so mm. uh, just get into the time zone the best thing that I have found is try to get some Sun straight away try to exercise and also get a green juice into you with filled with loads and loads of vitamins yeah.